The Hank Josie Challenge was a phenomenal success and it yielded numerous solutions. One of them is called Tutor Me, which connects the tutors and the learners, and the other one is called eSubmit. I caught up with the innovators and this is what they told me. The city of Joburg and Wurz University have partnered to encourage South Africans to develop cutting-edge technology that can improve the delivery of services to citizens. It is a well-known fact that disruptive technologies have created new industries and grown economies. The Joburg Wurz Initiative is called the Hack Josie Challenge, and it was won by Neo Hutiri of Technovera. But this week we talked to two companies, but we start first with Lomile Mukoka, an architect who developed a solution that submits architectural plans electronically to municipalities. And later we'll be talking about an education-focused solution called Chuta Me. But first, Lomile, pleasure to have you with us. And Thank welcome, you. congratulations, by the way. Thank you very much. A strong challenge from 400 other entrants. Yes, yes. yes and uh, I'm, I suppose for you, did, not mat did it matter anyway that you win or you do not win? Of course it matters. <laughs> well, <laughs> well got, you, you guys got good prizes, right? Yes, I mean, there was a million bucks, carrot hanging over yes, our heads. Yes. So I really did want to win. Entering yeah. this, I wanted to win. But, but of course, the additional benefit is that you got exposure, and that is why yes. we are talking to you as the runner-up with your e-submit solution. And the interesting thing besides you being runner-up is the fact that uh, your background is that of an architect and architecture. So how do you then, and I don't think you dabble in technology whatsoever. Not at all. Software development. No. Architects don't do that kind of thing. No. They sit behind the desk and they draw, right? <laughs> yes. But in your case, you somehow thought differently and said, I'm tired of this. Yes. What was the frustration and how did you develop the solution? Well, the frustration was that every single time I had to submit building plan applications, it was such a long process. Mm. So what happens is that you fill in so many forms and then you print so many copies of building plans. And I'm a very green focused architect, mm. so build, printing so many building plans, it was a nightmare for me. You go there and you queue, mm. you pay, and then you wait to hear, to get a response. Mm. And sometimes when you phone to find out, you find that those plans got lost in the system somewhere. And that means you have to start that process all over again. Right. So I thought, you know, with time organically, everything is gonna get digitized, but mm. it never got digitized. Mm. Years and years later, I just mm. didn't. So I thought when Hack Josie, they called for digital applications for something that could help the city. I thought this would be a perfect idea. Sure, which is great. I also have got a few ideas that I think would be perfect ideas. <laughs> but the thing is to develop the stuff and, and make it work and for whoever it is intended for to appreciate that it can work. Mm. So the development then of the solution that you came up with, uh, how did you start the process? What, who, yeah. how, well, how did you budget time for it, for instance? Um, it's something I just, I, I found time. I don't know how. You know, yeah. when you want to do something, you will find time mm. to do it. Mm. So I got together with my sister. She's a business analyst. She's all into IT and everything. So she was kind of helping me with the technical aspects of it. But going into Hack Josie, they made it very easy. They said, come up with an idea. You don't have to be technically savvy. You don't have to be in the technology industry. Yes. Yes. Just bring an idea. We'll help you work through it. And that's exactly what happened. They, help, they helped us work through our ideas, yes. not just the technical side, yes. but also the business side of it. Okay, now, I can understand the simpler version of what you've just told us. Mm. It's to submit plans electronically. Mm -hmm. Talk me through it. Let's assume I'm an architect based elsewhere okay. or I run a municipality. Let's use Tlokwe yes. as an example. <laughs> yes. Let's say I run the municipality of Tlokwe. Yes. Right. <laughs> so what do I need to know about your solution? Well, firstly, let me speak from the architects or the public side. Yeah. I mean, you just go into a computer, log on, and you just punch in the normal information that you normally fill in on a form, which is your architect's name, the client's name, the project details. You punch that on, onto a screen, submit it, and then you upload the drawings themselves. Yeah. And then on the back end, and the, the plans examiners at the municipality, they would receive these, this, this application with all the information mm. required. So this system, it not only allows the public to submit 
digitally, but it's also a workflow system mm. for the municipality. I mean, mm. there's no point in digitizing the application side of things, but then on the back end, there's still inefficiencies, mm. all mm. those things that cause them to uh, delay approving plans. If, if all those things are still there, then this digital solution will probably just fall away. So we had to really focus on the back end, making okay. just revolutionizing the way that municipalities work. And the solution is called? E-submit. E-submit. Yes. Well, we have to mention it by name. You mm. can explain anything you want, but if you don't... <laughs> no one knows it. Repeat the name. <laughs> it's E-submit. E-submit. As simple as that. Spelled Electronic. E-S-U-B-M-I-T. Exactly. That's it. Now, the other side of things, you may, you know, have the app or whatever it is to do E-submit, but how do they receive this... Uh, the, the plans, the others, and how would they store the information? They have to make an investment, I suppose. Um, to a small extent, I mm. think, because there are already digital platforms in municipalities such as City of Johannesburg. Perhaps in other municipalities, they might have to make an upfront investment more than the City of Johannesburg. Yeah. But the City of Johannesburg, which is the one that I've been working with very closely, they do have digital platforms already, and they are already have cloud systems for storing a lot of information. So it's, it's just a matter of just hooking on to those systems and integrating to those platforms and just making things a little bit easier for them on the building plan side. Is it ready for deployment and where can people uh, access this solution? We just need to finalize the legalities with the municipality, with the city of Johannesburg, and that's where we will be piloting it. Yes, yeah. And then thereafter, we'll roll it out to the other municipalities. So for now, it's not available at any other municipality except city of Johannesburg. And even as we speak, it's not available at city of Johannesburg. We're just finalizing the legalities. But good luck to you. And once Thank you've you. uh, started the business around this, please remember us and you can tell us more where to find it, how to submit and Definitely. how it works. We appreciate, just wanted to congratulate you. Thank you so uh, much. For having participated in the Hack Josie Challenge. Thank you. And everything of the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll be talking to the developers of Chutami in a moment. Abed Tau and Dylan Hislop founded Chutami, an app that connects tutors and learners. And the intention is to provide tutoring services to students that need them, operating in the edutech environment. They provide one-to-one -one tutoring through their application. Through Tutorme, students are able to find tutors that best meet their needs whilst rating them at the same time. And let's talk about this, uh, gentlemen, Abed and Dylan. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having Firstly, us. Firstly, congratulations to you Thank on you. Uh, your participation and uh, emerging as the winners of uh, the uh, Hack Josie Challenge 2016. Tutorme, I understand when I say it, it connects tutors and learners together. But how does it work for real? Okay, so thank yeah. you for having us Because I have a cell phone here. <laughs> I can always phone a tutor. To my mind, I'm connected. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tim, so the app really is simple. So you would log on to the app and you would look for a tutor that is best rated, um, fits your wallet in terms of affordability, nearest to you. It's on demand, so you, and it, the app gives you options to choose the tutor you want. So yes. You can also do a bit of a self-review. Yes. It'll give you the five best tutors, and you say, let me have a look at Abed, let me have a look at Dylan. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want Dylan, I want to book him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, from a learner, student, or parent of a learner point of view, mm -hmm. the frustration is what here that you're solving? So I think a lot of the frustration is, it's not that there aren't tutors, yes. it's finding the right tutor. Yeah. So our app allows for the parent or the learner to find a tutor that matches their needs. Yeah. So tutoring, it's not like Uber where you don't really mind who's driving you. Yes. It's yeah. a very personal experience. Yeah. Yes. And you want someone that you get along with, they know their content. Yeah. Yes. So, so in the app, a big focus of ours is when you're viewing your tutors, you can see previous ratings, yeah. okay. where's this tutor's weaknesses and strengths. Yeah. So yeah. for example, some kids might want a tutor to get them from a, a 50 to a 60, yeah. where some other kids might want to get a bursary or something and want to go from an 80 to an 88 or yeah. 89. And, yeah. and it's two very different tutors okay. yeah. that would do that. OK. Yeah. Well, because I can imagine, you don't just come up with apps and ideas unless there's a problem to yeah. be solved, yeah. right? Because yeah. so <laughs> it's easy to always do stuff, but if you have not asked the question, what is the problem or the yeah. frustration, then you can't uh, get it right. So tell me, how, how do you go, I mean, the, 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 uh, the app is the app, and then how did you go about then sourcing the information so that you can deliver what you're offering now? Yeah, so Tim, just to maybe elaborate further on the problem to answer that, yes. the, the other problem we really wanted to tackle was 
unemployment in South Africa. So you have a lot of matric students who matriculate annually and don't get jobs or can't fund their own university. Equally, you have the same number of graduates who are graduating with degrees and there's a six to 18 month period of waiting for a job mm. and people get discouraged. Yes. So our app allows mm. you to monetize that period of waiting because you are able to already monetize a skill that you already have. If you are, if you are a, a graduate, for instance, that yeah. in the meantime you could work as Supplement a private Supplement your income. As a, as a tutor, As yeah. a private yeah. tutor. Yeah. And, and the market, is it there in South Africa? Are people prepared to pay a bit more for tutors? So, so that's quite a nice one. There is a market for yeah. tutoring. Yeah. And that's what I say. What we've invented is nothing new. Yeah. Tutoring has been there from yes. many years till yeah. now. Yeah. So what we've done is we've created a marketplace for tutoring. Yeah. Yeah. So Tutor Me links tutors and learners together. We don't run a tutoring company in the fact that they are our tutors. Yes. Yeah. So we allow tutors to charge their own rate. They yes. decide what their hour is worth. Yes. Yeah. And within that, we take a much smaller commission than your generic competitors. So our aim is that we'll bring the price down yeah. of tutoring to the learner. Because of, because of the, the, the competitiveness that yes. comes with this. Yeah. And then also hopefully to be able to give the tutor a bit more value for his time. Yeah. Um, so the tutors will be the ones who, who pay some commission then? Yes. Yeah. Okay, not uh, the people no. who source them. So the ones who will be registering with the system Mm. I presume would be well, both actually register, so yeah. it's free for both. Yeah. So the tutor and a learner downloads the app. You just choose which one to log in. Am yes. I tutoring or yeah. do I want to tutor? Yeah. Yeah. So it's free to sign up, register as a tutor. Obviously, you have to apply to us and mm. send us your documents so that we can do a background check mm. and just validate mm. that the details you're giving us are correct. Yeah. Then we put you on the platform. So there's only ever a cost involved if we get the tutor. A potential job or yeah, a see. job. If okay. the job goes through yes, and works, yes. we take a cut on whatever money you get paid. Okay. Other than that, it's free for user and tutor. Yeah. And and uh, I suppose by now it has generated a lot of interest. Have you started uh, compiling your database? Yeah. So we've been on the Play Store now on Android for two and a half months. Yeah. We, as of yesterday, I think we have about 250 tutors already offering 148 subjects. Um, we're starting to see sessions booked every week now, which is pretty cool. So, and another important feature of the app, or maybe something that's great about it, is that it allows students to be both a student and a tutor at the same time, mm. in that we're trying to create an ecosystem of learning. So I'm a second year student at UJ, or WITS, or wherever. I'm struggling with tax. I can get tutored to by someone in honors or someone who's a CA, yes. they can come tutor me. But I encourage you to fund your own tutoring by going to tutor someone else as well. Okay. So I can go tutor matric, mm. I can tutor the first year guy who's studying. So in both instances, I'd be a student and a tutor. So like you call it, the new ecosystem altogether of mm. learning yeah. and uh, tutoring. Yeah. Yeah. So you're creating outside the formal institutions as we know them, that individuals can connect for yes. purposes of yeah. learning yeah. and yeah. educating one another. Yeah. That's super excellent. So for us, members of the public then, what do we do? How do we get to familiarize ourselves with this and participate? So, so the best is obviously always our website. Yeah. So it's the key thing is it's tutor me. So you spell it T-U-T-A mm. dash M-E dot yeah. C-O dot Z-A. Mm. So on there it explains what we are, who we are. We've got a cool YouTube video that also just gives you a rundown and a mm. further explanation on that. Yeah. And I mean the best way if you're interested in tutoring or being a tutor is to actually just download the app on Android, mm. log in, try it out and see if it suits what you're looking for. I'm going to try it. Please do. Can mm, I yes. just add to Dylan? Yes. So I just wanted to say also important that I note that we envision that this app is a learning app. So it's our core focus right now is academics, but you'd be a, we envision that in a couple of months to come, you'd be able to log onto the app and learn a language, get a cooking class, yes. um, eventually do your driving school through this yeah. because mm -hmm. we are a learning platform. I imagine that I fly to China and want to learn Mandarin and download the TutorMe app yes. and some tutor in China. So it brings the world together, yes. all in an environment of learning. Our mission is to connect the world through learning. No, much appreciated. It's a brilliant idea. I'm definitely going to check it and test it. Thank you very Abed, much. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank and you Dylan, for having thank us. Thank you very much. No, everything of the best to you guys and thanks for solving our problems. Thank we you appreciate. Very much. Thank well, you. that's uh, the technology discussion this evening, and we hope that you've learned something, you've been tutored something. So if you do not understand anything, go to Tutor Me, and hopefully you will connect with the appropriate education. We'll continue with the show in a moment.